Let me show you what you need for the project. I'll link to you also some stuff I can recommend underneath the video in the description so you can find it and buy it there or you can buy whatever you like. And what you have to buy is a 1K edge primer. That's the first can and a must for good adhesion. After you've sanded all these parts, apply the 1K edge primer before you can do any base color. And the base colors I'm using are the Montana Gold Metallics. I'm using Metallic Silver. These are my preferred colors for the crystal effect. And I'm using also the Metallic Black. And that's a must. Don't buy the normal black graffiti color. It won't work. You have to buy the Metallic because this color is thinner than the graffiti color. And you need the thin color for the crystal effect. If you don't have it, it won't work. So the Metallic is the one for you if you want to do the same effect like I do. What I'm also using are some candy colors, candy blue and candy yellow. And hopefully I can create the effect from blue to green to yellow using only two colors. And hopefully this will be cool. And what we also need is a 2K clear coat. You can use a matte or gloss clear coat as you prefer. I'm using a matte maybe. And that's it. So let's do it. <laughs> Frame is sanded and masked, but before we can start spraying, we have to degrease the frame to remove the dust from sanding. And to do that, I'm using some rubbing alcohol, paper towel, very simple, clean the frame and be careful. Clean every spot of the frame so you avoid any trouble with the primer and the color. And when you're done, it's time for spraying. Take the can for a minute, don't forget to wear a spray mask and we are good to go. Boom! The primer is on and the next step is wet sanding with a scarf pad. Next step is the base coat, Montana Gold, Metallic Silver. The silver base coat is done. These were the absolutely custom painting basics and now we are going crazy. I have to mix the crystal effects paint with simple and cheap ingredients. And if you don't know how to do it, check my video in the corner. I have a complete guide how to mix the crystal effects. We will do it fast. In this video, I'll mix the crystals. I'll show you what's needed. You can find the stuff also in the description. If you have to buy it, let's go. My crystal effects paint is mixed. Now let's take a sponge, soak the crystal effects paint, apply it on the frame and then let the crystals grow. It's 
also very important that you apply only a thin coating of the black. If you apply too much color on the frame, you can't remove the color to unleash the crystal effect. So what I will do is only a thin coating. That's it. Let's go. Next step is wet sanding with wet sandra and the scarf pad to remove all the crystals on the frame. They dissolve in water so we can remove the crystals underneath the black and we get the crystal effect. Yeah, check these nice crystals. I like them very much. I tested also the candy colors for the frame and decided the blue looks a bit shitty. In combination with yellow, it looks much more shitty. So I decided to go with the red and the yellow. A fantastic combination for a candy color. And yeah, I have these cans, candy color cans. I like to show you how to work with cans only. That's our option. So let's take it and let's change the paint booth. But that's the last time you can see the frame with a glossy finish because I decided to apply a matte varnish and I decided also to go cheap so I will use a 1k clear coat. If you want to go high quality you have to use a 2k clear coat. It's also available in spray cans so if you want to do it cheap like I do use the 1k solution and if you want to go high quality maybe for a gravel bike use the 2k clear coat. And before I can change to the paint booth, I have to do a light sanding with wet sandra and 800 grit to make sure I have good adhesion of the clear coat. That's a must. And then we can do the last step, the matte varnish, and we are done. Mm -hmm. 